Live from the studios of Coefficient Media in Jackson, Michigan. This is the Android Tech Show episode number 49. This week, we're reviewing the Casio Commando. Oh. That's right, we're going Commando. Going in. This is the Android Tech Show. Every week we bring you the latest news in Android-based technology. To join the conversation and watch live, visit theandroidtechshow.com. Now, let's start the show. Welcome to the show, everybody. This is Lane. And this is Dave. And we are the Android Tech Show. So we're coming at you this week with a nice fresh review of the Casio Commando. Our friends uh, over at Verizon sent us this nice little review unit, and let me tell you, this thing is a tank. It's an absolute tank, Dave. What do you think about this uh, this body? I know that you've been you've been dying to drop it. I know is what I've been. I'm uh, not going to drop it. I heard that uh, three oh three feet onto the concrete, and uh, and the thing doesn't have any uh, problems. That was about two and a half. Yeah, but no, uh, it's no, not yeah, turning on anymore. Whatever, because you're hitting the camera button. Oh, that side. Yep, there you go. Hmm, it's over there. Oh, it works. Don't worry, Verizon. <laughs> break it. Don't worry, Lane. <laughs> Don't worry. Lane. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a cheap phone anyway. Yeah. With, with oh well, if you, with the contract, right? It's being sold <laughs> for nineteen dollars ninety nine cents yeah. on the Amazon store. So you can go to Amazon and uh. And Let's give you a better look. Contract. Let's give you a closer look at it here. Look at that thing. It's, it is a tank. It is a tank. Look at that. I mean, that's just... That is very Motorola, black and yellow, it's construction so like, worker, like yeah. hardcore. That's like... then This should totally be on Nextel. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. That old Motorola i something on Nextel. Uh-huh. You know, the brick phone. Everybody used to get that huge extended battery <laughs> on it. So it was like holding just like a giant pipe to your head. <laughs> Yeah, and they had the rubber grip and everything like this, but and instead of that, red like, accents, it was yellow. It's kind of cool. Like, you can see <laughs> the screws. Like, they totally went all out, and they're like... Yeah, and they're tri-screws, too, whatever the proper terminology is. I don't know. Tri-screws? Yeah, they're not Phillips head. They're, they're, oh, they're... Instead of four, they're, they're three. Fancy. So, uh, but this, this bad boy is supposed to meet all the... Uh, military specs, you know, in the United States oh. for well, uh, dust and water it. and shock. How so, shocking! Yes, very shocking. Is in dropping. Well, now that like the military is using Android, yeah, I can kind of see why something kind of like this is probably what they'll end up having because like everything like this is a locked uh, battery back door. Yeah. So I'll flip it up to free. Pry this bad boy open. Ooh, it's sealed too. And yeah, you can see around the edges that red line. Rubber gasket. Rubber gasket. So let's just keep everything. Yeah, let's, let's let's zoom in a little bit more on your cam here. So everything <laughs> sensitive <laughs> is uh, <laughs> everything sensitive is sealed up. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty, pretty cool. nice looking. And Jimmy that back in there. That's the hard part. Yeah, you got to slide the front, and the top part by the camera in, and press it down. You kind of feel that. That seal kind of grabs it in there. And then it's locked closed. So, and every single port on here is another seal. So, if I come up here to the the power and pop this open, you'll see around the edges of the power, uh, there's like this, uh, this rubber gasket right on there, too. Yeah, that's cool. So, it keeps the, the water. And again, this isn't going to be like diving phone. This is going to be like... Oh, I dropped it in the puddle, or some water kind of splashed up on it, or whatever. Or I dropped it in the toilet, more likely. Maybe. So it kind of slides in. Oh, whoa. Press it down in there, and it seals. Seals right tight, closed. There's another one, too, up here for the uh, for the headphones. Yeah. I did notice that on those areas, they also have the water... Um, if you look inside there, there's the water detection seal thing. Let me see if I can get a good close-up... Love it for you people. Focus, 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 focus. It might be might be too much for for the meager camera. Say no meager camera. Maybe maybe oh, just wants oh, to focus oh. on my neck beard so much. It does. 
that hot shoulder. <laughs> well, there it is. You kind of see in there. Oh yeah, up at the angle right there. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's where the water detection thing is. But you got your seal here. It's supposed to protect you. Mm-hmm. And this is kind of nice. I mean, I like the rubber that kind of surrounds it here. This is kind of. It's definitely grippable. very grippable. You know, like it, it, you're not going to be worried about this slipping out of your hands when you're holding it. Mm-hmm. Is that a little lanyard holder? Yep. You can tie it on your lanyard. Yep. Does it have a dock? It looks like it has yep, a dock. Yeah, that's like a dock connector right down there on the bottom. Speakers are on the front. And also what you saw right there on the right, if you want to go back around there real quick, is actually the on-off button right there on the right side. Yeah, that was kind of weird. So, so when you're holding there. the phone, it's on the bottom left edge. The complete opposite of most phones, which are either on the top edge or the top right edge for uh, the Samsung Galaxy S phones. So a little bit of a change up. I don't know. Uh, and it has no notification light on the front. It's actually on the opposite side of the power uh, button. Yeah, right there next to the camera button. It's got a little notification LED right there. Uh, and as uh, as Brad said, you know, from a distance, it's actually kind of nicer because mm-hmm. uh, you can set the phone down and kind of turn it so that that LED points in your direction. So you can see if you have a notification much easier than the top totally. notification ones do. That makes sense. Yeah. But I don't know. I usually don't have the phone that far away from my person. So <laughs> It is very, I am very uh, at one with my phone, mm-hmm. let's say. Yeah. So, uh, some pretty cool stuff. Uh, like we said, it's neatly covered in hard rubber. Uh, this thing comes with an 800 megahertz processor. Mm-hmm. So, not the fastest thing you're going to be able to get on the market. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's a it's an okay phone. This is uh, definitely not the top tier, but it is a decent second tier phone uh, that you're going to want to get for the i think the uh the shock protection and everything right especially if you're an outdoorsy or like yes you do a lot of stuff outside and and for a lot of people they haven't switched to these touch phones or the large screen phones because they're kind of fragile phones yeah especially when you look at like uh for instance the samsung galaxy phones right just wafer thin (laughs) yeah made of plastic yeah and you're like really no feels feels like a fisher (laughs) doesn't feel safe yeah. So I that mean, one's got some heft behind it. Yeah, a little bit. Of, it's not, but it's not too heavy. Right. At the same time, you yeah. know, it's they really. I think as far as the target market that they're going for, which is somebody that wants a ruggedized phone, this really strikes all the right balances for a ruggedized phone. Mm-hmm. So, and again, you know, it's uh, some it's, of it is a little bit out of place. So, like I say, the power button. And it's everything. like a tough book, though. Like tough books yeah. aren't the fastest computers. But you but can drop tough. them. Yeah. You can throw them in the back of your truck. <laughs> it has a specific use. That is you know? a phone you can throw in the back of your truck. Well, one of the interesting things about this, though, too, if I turn it back on. Do it. Uh, well, the, the unlock is a little bit different. You slide it, you know, to this side to unlock or that side to mute. But uh, it's pretty much the same mechanic, I guess, in the end as what the normal... Yeah. procedure is for android but it just looks totally different um, but over crazy. here you have this action button it's not a camera button it's below the volume rocker above the power button you hold down the action button action? and it launches this, this special little launcher with all these apps that are basically geared towards active people it has the earth oh, compass uh, which i'll talk about a little bit later a walking counter which is like a pedometer That's cool. adventure training uh, which hmm. will actually let you monitor uh, your runs, like if you're a runner. Oh, okay. It'll measure all that information and show you uh, where you can make improvements and, you know, all kinds of great stuff. I'm not a runner, so or at least I haven't been in a long time. Uh, trip memory, uh, which is like a scrapbooking picture geolocation cool. thing. Uh, thermometer, it's pretty like self-explanatory. A, it's tracking your trip location. Uh, tides, uh, and tides. these these give you cool graphs and animations and stuff, and oh. that show you the. Uh, I think right now it's set for someplace on the west coast, Santa Monica. Okay. So it shows when the tide cycles are. I mean, look at this. This is this yeah. is very slick. Yeah. You know, it should not be said that uh, that they didn't put some thought into some of the stuff on here. Sun and moon, stargazing, of course. And oh, you cool. Can, uh, go in here and manage some of the the settings. You can uh, turn your G switch off. 
Yeah, well, like the pedometer. You can set it so it'll constantly monitor your steps. Oh. Or, you know, just when you have the... Uh, so it'll run in the background. The thing open. That is really cool, because you always have your phone with you. Yeah. Brilliant. And you can switch your temp display. So if you're really hardcore into science, just go back to Celsius. Ooh. Whatevs. That's so, and, of course, a how to use uh, mm -hmm. button down there so that you can get... Uh, get a, a tour. So the Earth Compass, I want to kind of skip because on here they they also have a widget. You see, it's not doing oh. anything, but you just touch it, and then all of a sudden, it's a compass widget. So it shows you what direction is. Yep. So as you're walking, you know you can be on your home screen and access your compass and still use it. And then you have things like here's that tide. Uh, oh, and that's one just that we're just widget? looking at. Uh, virtual track. The virtual track is like it. Uh, lets you walk the same amount of footsteps, say, if you were going to walk to the South Pole. Oh. You know, that, those kind of interesting That's things. Fun. So you got the moon, uh, and it shows, like, when moon rise and moon mm -hmm. set, and then it'll switch to sunrise, etc. Cool. On there. But on the home screen, uh, again, they have all these widgets for all kinds of different stuff. But this is one of the cool things I want to show you. The widget cool. for weather actually has two <laughs> different coats. Okay, yeah. it shows you what coat to wear for, you know, depending on <laughs> what cool it is. is. And they have like a consolidated social app there. Mm -hmm. um, but you'll notice this home screen is a little bit different. Along the bottom, they have indicators or whatever. Oh, yeah. um, but it kind of reminds me of the Motorola. Uh, what the heck is that thing called? It's on like the Droid 2 and uh, all those. But it, it kind of reminds me of that style of home screen. Right. Um, but it's just a little bit different. They put a phone down here on the left. And then they have this other thing over here that is like a, uh, I guess like a quick launch thing. It reminds me of the wave launcher that Brad uses, but it doesn't work on every screen. It's only on the home screen. So all you have to do is you grab it, you can slide it up like that, Ooh. and then you have all these different shortcut apps, contacts, email, messaging, voice control, and calendar. You just select one, and you're right in it. But you don't. You can also just slide it up, you know, and then let go. Oh, that's super nice. And it launches that. And that's built right in. Yep, that's right on. It's right on the home screen. So you just hit home. You got this little, you know, fast launcher. Huh. How fancy. So especially if you're used to like I'm a left-handed phone user, mm -hmm. this is perfect. You know, follows that that pattern right there on on purpose. I I suppose. You're weird. Can you move it over to the right? I mean, it doesn't know. No, that's a phone <laughs> over there on the other side. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't exactly work like that. Mm. So, uh, but again, some of the some of the stuff I love the apps that are included on it. This phone is definitely one of the cooler uh, Android phones that kind of blur the line toward feature phone. Yeah, you know, where this is definitely geared towards somebody who's more outdoorsy. Uh, it, it comes preloaded with a lot of apps that I haven't even seen on the Android market and certainly not packaged together like this mm -hmm. is. Well, it definitely, definitely has a killer feature with that, like the, the just ruggedized. Yes. Yeah. And again, if, if we just went down by personal choice, I wouldn't buy something like this for myself. But I would have. I'm definitely more like the power, you know, hungry yeah. kind a, of user. <laughs> a few years ago when I was like, in a position where I was doing a lot of work outside. Yeah. That would have totally... Would yeah. Totally, or some, if, some when, I worked, other, at, when I worked at camp, that would be a perfect camp phone. Oh, yeah. And the battery's a little bit bulkier on it, too. It's like a 1400 some odd, mm. uh, whatever the measurement is for that battery. Go. So, which is, is pretty decent. The, the G1 <clears> came with like 1100 And the price is right. Yeah. 20 bucks uh, for a two-year contract on it. So... Uh, I definitely think the target for this is like the construction. Pretty much anybody that used to carry those mot old Motorola phones. Or if you drive a Hummer. Yes. You want to ruggedize your phone.